Hello and welcome to Felonius and my japping about. Today I'm going to share some thoughts about wood. And yes, I mean the material wood. Not the uh, collection of trees out there. The material wood and I are never on the same terms. I love wood. I love wooden furniture and uh, I like to be inside some wood... Um, everything built with wood, wooden houses and stuff. But me and wood are not really on the same terms. Um, it started, I, I started to understand this when I was in my craft sh shop. I'm not totally sure what you call it in English, but we have uh, something in the school that are crafting with wood and metal and um, even if we are going some sewing crafts as well, but no, we have mostly. And every time I used wood, it came out not really the way I thought it should. <laughs> and, and every time I used metal, it worked perfectly. And I didn't like working with metal at all. Um, it's a bit strange, I know. Um, once I tried to do some sort of candle holder and... Uh, trying to do uh, uh, four, four candles and I measured and I was very um, ordered with all things but every time I tried to do something like drilling or something it just cracked or made some problems and when I finally well my my teacher told me that you can't go on working on that piece of wood forever finish it or throw it away well, throwing away something, no, I didn't want to. So, I just did some things to, to make it, well, useful. Um, but it was a bit lower in one end than the other one, and it really didn't look that nice. My grade for that work was low, and, well, the final thing was when I got home and said to my father that we could use this. It was a Christmas uh, candle holder. And he just washed it and threw it into the furnace. No words needed. Everything my little brother made always was displayed on some occasion or stuff. But, well, my stuff didn't. And then I tried metal again and it worked perfectly fine. My, my hand and eye coordination were perfect. It, I, I couldn't realize, well, how come I can drill in metal, but I can't drill in wood? I mean, wood must be easier. Now, as my school years went, I started to think about using mathematics for, for it. That is, I'm going to measure, I'm going to use uh, geometric figures, I'm going to do something because I had that candle holder still in my mind and I sort of needed some revenge for it. Um, well, the, the outcome of that made me actually get an average in, in, uh, in uh, grades. I think you call it B- minus or something like that. And I was pleased because that was as good as I ever hoped. But it was too big and there was no candle that could fit in the middle so the teacher didn't understand it was a candle holder it was for only one candle but it had uh, geometric figures uh, circles and, and stuff and it was perfect in every sense and way but it was useless oh dear now my first work was in metal industry and my second world was in concrete and um no, I didn't use wood in any of them, not really. And suddenly I got to a place where I had my chance of getting my revenge on wood. <laughs> um, I'm not totally sure why I was in this place, but there was a carpenter and he had a, a gang of unemployed guys from the agency and suddenly he had to do some sort of well walls walls inside an old well that has collapsed and um, since they had opened it up all there was to it was to put some sort of well um, uh, one and a half meter high walls inside and he had this idea 
it should be made by wood. The walls should be made by wood and it should be hexagon, six sided. Now isn't that nice and I just, well, <laughs> me and wood, you know that. So I just, I didn't bother to listen what he said because I knew that was going to be my work anyway because, yeah. <laughs> And suddenly it started to rain and they had to do uh, some other work. And, um, but that well wall needed to be done quickly. So uh, we went away and get the material and all was carrying about and suddenly they said, well, hey, you, Flonius, you can take this. You can make this one, right? It's easy. Ah. I seldom lost for words, but this time I was totally numb first. And then I started to make excuses like I've never done before. But um, the carpenter, he just showed me, okay, you can use this saw here and, oh dear, a machine that can catch your fingers. Now isn't that nice? <laughs> Not. And I was actually rather worried about this but he showed me and then you know that if you're going to make an hexagon you have to have 45 degrees on each angle and suddenly no I just said no not not 45 degrees yes it's 45 degrees the carpenter said no it's not 45 it's 60 no it's 45 I'm going to show you and I just let him I just let him stand there and <laughs> misuse the carpenter's right. He made two 45 degrees angles and that's, yeah, we all know that is for eight-sided things, not six-sided things. And when he started to try to make it happen, he realized that he had made something wrong, but he couldn't admit that. So he just showed me that, and then you drill a hole there and you put a bo uh, bolt right through there and you just but it's going to be heavy, I said. No worry, we take a, a crane and we fix it. Just do it. And then they all left. There I was, with some long wooden things, made green by some things, and I, a big saw, and I had to make a well. Wall. One and a half meters high, with 60 degrees angles. And you know what? <laughs> I got my revenge. They were very pleased with my work. He said, the carpenter said, that it was exactly how he would have imagined it. Perfectly. And actually the place where they put it said, oh, we must make a lid for this. Well, I didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't. But I know they have done it afterwards. Now, I haven't been out watching my work. But I'm pleased to say that I got my revenge on wood. That's important, isn't it? Thanks for listening. Bye.